Put your hands up. Show me your hands. Put your hands up, show me your hands! Show deadly police shooting in Texas, a concerned neighbor's call ending with a woman killed in her own home. Body camera video showing the officer outside her house moments before he opens fire. The neighbor says he only asked for someone to check on her. Here's ABC's Zachary Keish. Growing anger tonight in Fort Worth after a 28-year-old black woman was shot and killed inside her own home by police. Put your hands up. Show me your hands. Show it all began after a concerned neighbor noticed her front door was open and called a police non-emergency line asking for a welfare check. Body camera footage shows the responding officer walking through a gate to the back of the house, then turning toward the window and shouting a command. Put your hands up! Show me your hands! Show Within seconds, firing one deadly shot through the window, the woman, Atatiana Jefferson, died at the scene. Police saying the officer, quote, perceived a threat. But the neighbor who originally called the police tonight stunned. All they needed to do was knock on the door and ring the doorbell. Police say they recovered a firearm on the scene, but have not said whether or not it was near the body. Local religious leaders and activists are demanding justice. Let's tell it what it is. She was massacred in old house. The body camera video shows the officer never identified himself before firing that weapon. Now, the officer who was hired last year has been placed on administrative leave. Fort Worth police have released the arrest warrant affidavit that provides more information about the night a Tatiana Jefferson was shot and killed by ex-police officer Aaron Dean. Jefferson had been playing video games with her eight-year-old nephew when police responded to her home early Saturday morning following a concerned call from a neighbor. Dean was arrested and is bonded out of jail on his murder charge. Fox 4's Dion Anglin is at the Fort Worth Police Department where we have learned more from the police interview with Jefferson's nephew. Dion. Yeah, that's right. Uh, more information today from the interim chief of police this midday. Also riveting details from the arrest warrant affidavit for the now former a police officer uh, who is now facing a charge of murder. 34-year-old Aaron Dean, who resigned from the force on Monday, was arrested later that day and within four hours posted bond, which was set at $200,000. To this point, Dean has not provided his account of the fatal shooting, written or otherwise. And just after 2 a.m. Saturday, Dean and his partner responded to an a non-emergency call regarding an open front door at the home of 28-year-old Tatiana Jefferson. Body camera video shows the moment Dean, while in the backyard of the home, yelled at a person who appeared in the window and fired his weapon through that window, killing Jefferson. The arrest warrant mentions three separate times that Dean did not identify himself as Fort Worth police. The affidavit also describes an interview with Jefferson's eight-year-old nephew. He told investigators that he was playing video games in that bedroom with his aunt and that she heard noises coming from outside and she took her handgun from her purse. He went on to say Jefferson raised her gun and pointed it toward the window 
Then Jefferson was shot and fell toward the ground. Today, interim Chief Krause said a possible breakdown in communication about a neighbor's initial call for a wellness check is being examined. They believe they were responding to an open structure call and not just a welfare check. We're looking at bringing in an independent third party uh, uh, group to come in and evaluate our policies, our practices, and our training to ensure that we are above best practice standards. Now, interim Chief Krause indicates the department's major case unit has turned this shooting over to the Tarrant County District Attorney. The department also plans, as you heard, to have an outside party begin the process of evaluating the training of its officers while it tries to build, rebuild trust and confidence within the community.